Looking at these beautiful wallpapers, I started to notice a few odd references to their lores and other characters. The nerd in me decided to look at all the wallpapers and find all the references to the lore, characters and more. So what's the wait for? Let's get straight into the video. Hi guys, Gazuki here and in this video, let's look at all the references that you could find out of 841 wallpapers from Moontoon. Let's start our list with the Valentine skins. The obvious ones are Alucard and Mia, Leila and Clint, Kufra and Esme, Gushan and Leslie, and lastly, our vampire couples, Sicilian and Carmilla. Sicilian and Carmilla are together in almost every single skin that they both have, so there is no reason for me to show them over here. First is the wallpaper we are going to take a look at is the beautiful wallpaper of Valentina's collector skin. If you carefully look at anything else than the beautiful Valentina, you will notice several things. The first one would be her size in this image. Good. She's towering over all the guards, which are so tiny, you can barely even notice them. And then if you look closely, you will see a prisoner who is suspiciously similar to Tamuz. But I don't think it's Tamuz, but it can be someone from the Abyss. Maybe his brother. Jokes aside, since the name of the skin is Celestial Judicator, I guess she's punishing someone from the abyss who has done something wrong. Another wallpaper we are going to look at will be Alders and Nana's Mist Vendors. You might be asking what is the reference here? Well, the two spirits animals you are seeing. Check out the first one which is Nana's Kirin. Kirin or Quillin is a mystical chimera-like creature or a monster that appears in both Chinese and Japanese mythology. Nana's Kirin is from Japanese myth because it is Kirin, not Quillin, and is more dear from what we see here. The oldest one is rather interesting. It could just be dragon which falls in line with all the Chinese and Japanese myth inspiration. It could also be a mentigore, a chimera-like creature, but this time it's from Persian and Greek myth. Which one could it be? Comment down below. Next, we have the Saber's default skin, Wandering Sword. Here, you can see him destroying the Humanoid Weapon Project Laboratory that is Lab 1718 and getting his revenge against the evil scientist. Also, in his basic skin, Golden Flesh, you can see him destroying some androids from Lab 1718. Talk about the same design idea, but on the other skin, Silver Age, we can see him getting created in Lab 1718. Next, we have Alice Divine Owl. Here we can see Natalia Midnight Raven, the enigmatic assassin and the mystical sorcerer face-off in the showdown that can only be described as otherworldly. Comment down who do you think will be the winner. Up next is Nana Sundress skin. In this summer skin, you can see Claude and Fanny running behind while Kagura is chilling, taking a sunbath. But wait, if you look here closely, doesn't this look like Frankie from One Piece? With all the anime collaboration happening, are we going to see a One Piece collab too? Next is Alucard Lightburn Striker and here you can see other Lightburn members such as Granger, Fanny and Tigril. Connecting to it, we have Granger's Lightburn skins and as you can see here, we have Alucard and some knight who looks like Tigril but I'm not so sure it could be some random soldier guarding the Monian Empire. Moving on, we have Karina Gemini Hello. Karina and Selena are sisters, so you can see them together in their zodiac skins as the Gemini zodiac sign is represented by twins. What is your zodiac sign? Comment down below. Up next is Franco Frozen Warrior. I guess that either they are going to fight the deep sea monster Captain Ben or they have already defeated him and are celebrating now. But from Ben's deep sea monster skin, it looks like he was the one to be victorious. We sure are on a cliffhanger here. Now we have Clint Starlet skin Operator CL where you can see a little girl behind who just looks like Ellie. The little girl from Joe Head, I'm not sure on this one but the similarities are there. Moving on to our summer skin, we have Fanny's lifeguard. We can see Claude saving her from drowning, leaving poor Dexter behind and behind them we can also see Nana Kagura and what possibly looks like Priya. But what is interesting is, if you look here, we can see what looks like Dory from Finding Nemo. Isn't it cool? I don't know what Hayabusa is doing on Lab 1718, but I can confirm that this is Lab 1718 and the people in it are the evil scientists trying to create a new human weapon. 
What do you guys think about it? Moving on, we have Freya's Christmas Carnival. Here you can see Jilong and Freya engage in a spirited snowball fighting, adding a touch of holiday magic to the celebration. Aren't these skins too cool? Moving on to Kagura's Starlight Skin, Rainy Walk. You can spot Jilong, Mia and Eudora. We can see them in a poster in a bus train. Isn't this a cool easter egg? Up next is Ruby's aspirant skin, Mecha Maiden. She appears to be challenging a battalion of evil Angelas to a showdown. Angela means, don't worry, she is just an evil robot in disguise. Another late 1718 victim. And this time, it looks like Moscow ready to grab his spear of destruction. What's with the late 1718? First Sabre, then Ayabusa, and now our Moscow. Up next, we have Carrie Gilgirl, and on this portrait, we can see Alpha's season skin Sea Gladiator looks like he's happy to appear in our video. In this stunning Selena's stun skin, wow, that was difficult tongue twister. Anyways, here you can see our two stars, Chow and Brody. But wait, why does Chow look like some middle-aged Chinese uncle? In Brody's stun skin, we can see the members of the stern idol group, which looks cool. Moving on, we have Brody's basic skin, Nameless Story, and here you can see Benedetta fighting alongside him. Hmm, Benedetta x Brody? We have Melissa's basic skin, Twinge Weaver. As you gaze behind, you can see an intricate web of mystery and magic. I do not know who these people are, but they are dear to her because she seems to be crying as a glass of memory breaks. And last, from the heroine skin wallpaper, we have this wallpaper of Jilong saving a baby. Guys, the skin may be bad, but this is a reference to Zhao Yun saving the baby of one of the generals. Isn't it too cool to see a real world reference? If you wanna know more real life references to MLBB, check out this video. While I was doing my research, I also found these low roll papers, so I thought why not cover some of them here and cover the rest in a different video. Comment down below if you would like to see them all covered. First, let's start this wallpaper of Audit and Lancelot. We can see here that Audit holding the sword and Lancelot teaching her how to use it. We can also see an embarrassed maid holding Audit's wand. I suspect this image is from when Lancelot made Audit and gave her this sword. We also have an in-game voice line referencing this image. The sword is a gift. Next up is the image from Faramis lore. This image encapsulates all the encounters between Faramis and Vexana. Did you know that Faramis' childhood crush was Vexana? Yes, she saved him from an illness. You can see that in this image too, but no matter what you say, I still prefer the old Vixana and Faramis. Next up is another image from the Necro Keep arc. This image shows Leomod killing Vixana's husband when he was turned into a monster by the Abyss. The image does show a lot of action, but to be honest, I just don't like the Necro Keep arc. Another one of my favorite lore play art is this. Isn't this cute? If you don't know, the lore Yin and Wan Wan are childhood sweethearts and the only reason Yin left Kadia Riverlands was to find Melissa so that she could cure him of this evil spirit. Speaking of Melissa, look at this play chart. It has all the 4 second light members. Guys, find yourself someone who looks at you like how Yin is looking at that food. Comment down if you already found one and also comment down if you are looking for one. Maybe you might find someone in the comment section. Now let's look at the lower image of Ixia. We can see here Layla doing her things randomly, missing her targets. Joke aside, this lore image is interesting. What we can see here, Layla doing her duties as a Euro Disho Ranger and Iksha doing her duty as an outlaw stealing things. Now let's check out this image from Xavier's lore. This image must be right after Xavier shoots through the gate. Melissa and Yin are developing an interesting relationship as we can see. Who you guys want Melissa XN or 11 XN? Comment down below. Now let's check this wallpaper from Edith's lore. This is when Uranus attacks her father and Edith saves him. We can see her father being held by Felix. And now for the last lore wallpaper, we have this great wallpaper of Gushan and Amon entering the hideout or castle of Valentina to find out her mystery. Don't you think this wallpaper looks too cool? So which is your favorite wallpaper of all time? What more wallpapers has hidden references that I might have missed? Which one do you think is the coolest reference and why is it One Piece? Comment down all your thoughts and opinion below. So that will be all for this video. 
थैंक यू गैस फॉर वॉचिंग कीप सपोर्टिंग काजू के ऑफिशियल